Hey guys, um, today is my video about um, my senior year marching band show. Um, my show was called The Day in the Life and it had Beatles songs in it. Um, this is what our show shirt looked like. If I can get it up here. That. Um, here's the back. All of our names. Yep. Um, the songs in order were Gotta Get You Into My Life. A, um, full on the heel on the hill and um, a day in the life um, yeah I have there is a video or two maybe on here on YouTube and I'll definitely link that below in the more info bar here uh, I don't it's not the entire show it cuts off at the end um, so it doesn't have the entire closer on there and, um, but it's pretty cool. You need really need to check it out. Um, the uniforms we had, they're, um, the same uniforms we used for my sophomore year winter guard. They're just, uh, and the little, they have a little bit of a turtleneck thing. It's an A-line, sleeveless, like, black unitard. You can find it on Band Shop or anything like that. Um, it was basically just the black thing. And then, um, at the beginning of the show, we all had these little shrugs on. Also, you can get them from Band Shop. Um, all the weapons, well, I was a weapon, it had lime green. And they, like, tied under your chest here. They tied here, and just, like, long sleeve shrugs. And um, all the flags had, like, hot pink. Um, the show was, like, just bright colors. It was basically, yeah, just bright colors. Um... And our hair, it was like pulled up into a bun that was like kind of curled, I guess, and like pinned. That's what it was supposed to be. Some people had ponytails. I think it just, I think we just had to pull it up and pull it up. I don't know if it was like specified. I don't really remember. Um, and our makeup wasn't really specified either, as long as it was just like bright eyeshadow, I guess. They didn't, should, they didn't really specify. So I wore like green to match my shrug but whatever um we competed in 4a class um we had like one or two members um over like the line to be in 4a um so if we had like that one or two members less we would have competed in 3a in uh, the mid-state circuit um I don't remember, like, if we got, like, a lot of awards. I don't really remember. And I don't remember what place we got at championships. I know we went to finals, probably got, like, ninth place or something, but I don't really remember. And, uh, yeah. But I know if we competed, if we would have competed in 3A, we would have, like, cleaned it out, you know, with the awards because we were really good. But since we had been bumped up to that next class, the competition was a little bit harder. But anyway, the show was really cool. It was um, uh, like the very beginning of the show. It just had like this big, huge impact with flags. It was just awesome. And um, and from the flags, we went to like the rifle people. Went to rifle and we did rifle. And then um, then we went back to flag at the end of the opener. And uh, the ballad was uh, Saber. And um, these ball dancers, if you watch videos, understand. There's like these big balls. And um, the dancers, and we like, I don't know, did that stuff. And then the ball people went to the front and um, got flags, and the rest of the flags got flags, and they did that, and it was like a rainbow. It was really cool. And then, um, they win the closer, well, it's all flag, and, no, it was rifle at the beginning, and then, and then we went, went to flag, and it was all flag again, and, um, it was really cool, like, there was this part in the drill where the band stood still, and, um, they were, like, in a big block, and they stood still, and we were, like, in between them in lines, and, like, we did this work where we went, like, around them, with the flag work, it was really cool. Um, but I, like, I don't really have any awesome stories, but, uh, the, um, there's just one story that happened 
it's just something that happened towards the beginning of the season, like during band camp and like beginning practices, um, like in the opener, like the part where the rifles go back to the front and switch and get flags to finish out the opener. It just, people kept taking my flag, like no joke, just kept taking my flag. Like they wouldn't go f um, far enough down to their spot on, like on the sideline. They would always come too close, grab my stuff and leave. And then their flags would be way out here, way out there. And then I'd be stuck with nothing. And so I just get to sit there at the front. It's just like, really people? Like, can you not get it together? And it's not like they were newbies, like new people. This was all weapon people, all people that have been in it for at least a year. And it's just like, get your stuff together. Oh my gosh, it made me so mad. <laughs> But, like I said, I don't really have any awesome stories. I didn't have any cool solos. Um, yeah. But, um, if you watch our video, which you should, um, there, at the closer, there's like a, um, a part in the rifle, to end our rifle part in the closer, it, um, we all like toss, and it goes like, the tosses like make a, I don't know, this kind of shape. And I'm at the end. I tossed a, a double, I think. Woo, a double. Yeah. But anyway, uh, there's like, and if you see, I don't know if it's like this in the video, but it probably is. There's put like, we are all like evenly spaced apart until the very end where I am. And there's a bag, big gap because the chick that was next to me would never get in her spot. Never. She would always be four steps off. So there would always be a huge gap between me and her. And I was not going to adjust her. It was not going to happen. Because it would still be uneven. Or like that. Because she was too close to that person. It was just, no. I was not going to adjust to her. And if you see that gap, you'll know where I am. But I don't know if I'm actually in the... I don't know if the camera like angle is wide enough for you to see me over there. Um, but yeah. Um, but anyway, like I was saying... The rifle like tosses like double, triple, quad, whatever. And then um person in the center, this dude, our only guy on guard that year. He was the first guy on guard actually, but um he's in the center and he tosses the highest toss. I don't know. I think he catches it. I don't know. I don't remember. But um he's a freshman. And um yeah. And he was actually like we were actually like friends, like close friends since he was like in second grade. And then, all of a sudden, like, because his cousin is also on guard, and she was a year younger than me, but, um, he ended up being on guard, like, his freshman year, and, like, being on weapon. He was the only freshman to be on weapon, and, um, he was the one getting all the solos, so. Yeah. So, that's pretty much it for this video. Sorry, I don't really have anything else really to say. But, I mean, I don't have any awesome, cool amazing stories um but i think in my opinion it was our best show yet it was really fun and we all had lots of fun doing it and we all had the talent levels pretty high as high as you know i have ever been so definitely check out that video okay well i'll see you guys later bye